All right, hey, what's up guys? Luke here, and I hope you can hear me. There's a lot going on, but we're out here at the SRT Showdown, and it's hot. I've been out here for a while, but I just figured I'd escape a little bit and get some footage for you guys. I'm gonna go kind of just walk up and down the aisle, show you all the SRT4s that are here. Of course, there's something starting up right next to me. Um, but if you want to skip most of the cars, I'll leave a link to the spot in the video to kind of get to the next spot. So anyway, here we go, let's check it out. That one, that one's nice. All right, guys, and for you who didn't know, this was my original SRT4 right here. Um, the one I had for about 10 years, I found the original owner and told him to come drive it. So that was my original one. Still got the same wheels on it. I'll talk more about that one one day. I'm gonna slow down on this one because it's pretty cool. This is a rear wheel drive conversion. There's a the man. There's the line for food. That didn't look fun. Let's go check out where they got the races going on. They've got other Mopars and other cars out here too, so we might get a couple of them running. Seven five on the left, ten two on the right. This zone here by the staging lanes is called the VIP section, so I'll go up and down them real quick. Very nice. Oh, my God. 
Johnny boosts himself. G swap. Alright guys, well that pretty much shows you uh, all the cars that are here right now. Let me tell you how hot it is outside. It's hot. I'm just glad the AC is working on this thing again because that is where I am. Um, I just came back to have a cold one and chill out in the car for a minute. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch cameras. I'm going to try to go get some video of the SRTs actually running down the strip. Um, they're going to have, I think, the semifinals here and I'll try to get some of the finals and uh, catch back up with you then. Burnout done. Here we go. Last match race of the night. There we go. There's a B. Let's see if Chris can get him. What's up guys so we made it back uh, safe and sound the car is in one piece I did not run uh, there's a couple things that happened I don't know if I mentioned this on the earlier video but um, I was in a rush you know getting everything done with the car and I threw the jack in the car and everything else and I forgot the breaker bar uh, to take the lugs off so I figured that might have been a sign and uh, then I needed long pants to run which I didn't see and I totally forgot my helmet as well just sitting over there on the counter um, but I did end up getting drag radials uh, from a guy there. Uh, so that's cool. So you will see some videos of me finally being able to hopefully get some traction at the track. I think these are uh, m &H, um, Race Masters, which is actually funny enough story, what I had on my first SRT. So uh, I know they do well, and uh, I never broke an axle with them. So uh, we'll just kind of see how this, this goes. And I've got some kind of, This is a cowl by Johnny Boost. Um, it goes over kind of like underneath the wipers to just kind of give it a smooth, clean look. I'll show you what a picture looks like of it when it's done. So yeah, anyway, got a couple parts. Um, I got a harness for the boost box and the watt box um, from Kinetic Creations. It looks like it's a lot more of a plug and play type application unlike it was way back in the day where you basically had to hack your wiring harness all the heck. Uh, so looking forward to putting that in. Um, there was a boost box on the car that I purchased, the other SRT. Uh, so all I need now is the watt box. I'll get that stuff installed and then, uh, you know, hopefully we should have a couple good runs at the track. Um, I actually won some stuff at the, uh, at the raffle. I never ever win raffles. And uh, funny enough, I ended up winning three things there. So. Um, I'll post the vendors in below because I don't know them off the top of my head. Um, but I got this SRT4 license plate, which is kind of neat because it's red. They had a black one, but it had orange lettering, so I just went ahead and went with the uh, 
What the f So I went ahead and went with the red one. And I'm on this uh, water neck uh, from 513 Fab. It's got the SRT Showdown 2019 stamped on it, which is kind of cool. I don't know where you can see that. Um, it's a part in the back of the engine that, well, flows water through it and it rusts out usually, so this is a fabricated one. Um, and the third thing I actually won from my boy Johnny Boost, um, which is kind of funny because I was buying stuff from him anyway. Um, but uh, I won his uh, transmission tray. Now I'm doing something different with the transmission. Uh, maybe I can show you some, show you guys real quick. All right, so I don't think you guys have seen it since they did the battery relocate. Um, what his tray usually does is it bolts on. This is what's left after you take the battery tray off. It's kind of like the support brace, but it also holds the, uh, it's like kind of an extra support brace for the mount, the one transmission mount. The tray goes over here and down to kind of cover the transmission and make it look clean, but I'm actually gonna want to have all this cleaned up to where you can just see the transmission because it's painted and it's gonna look nice once it's clean. So um, what you do is you kind of cut this arm off and cut this arm off there. That way you don't have this in the way. So I didn't really need it. So he gave me like a credit towards those cowls that I bought. So I went ahead and bought them. And that's actually where this, where those go right here. So it gets rid of all this bumpy, weird stuff. And it puts a nice flat, smooth um, cowl there. And we're gonna um, powder coat it wrinkle black, which is pretty similar to what this looks like. Just kind of like a, almost like a truck bed liner type look. Um, but there's the rest of the uh, battery relocate that I just did. It's definitely not done. This was just super fast, get it done type thing. Um, the wire that comes off the starter right here uh, can be grounded somewhere else and then hidden a little bit better. Um, I just got the distribution box, you know, real quick, ran the power cable back there and, uh, you know, it, it did the job and it still does look better. Um, but now I'm waiting on Johnny's uh, pipe, or he's got the pipe, but I'm just waiting on the filter and the coupler should be coming in soon so I'll have that nice big four inch intake here um, to take up some of that space as well um, and I had to relocate the boost controller it was weird the boost controller was kind of like way over here and like in between the uh, clutch uh, cylinder and or the clutch reservoir and I was just kind of weird over there so I just put it right here just to kind of clean up the wires a little bit uh, anyway that's kind of what the under the hood looks like. I, I touched up a little things. I had some touch up paint and I touched up some scratches everywhere just to kind of make it look a little bit cleaner. So it's not too bad. Anyway, guys, I uh, hope you liked the video. I'm sorry I didn't get enough racing. Uh, I didn't think to get into such uh, so many good conversations out there with everybody. It was good to kind of be back in the game and, and just talk to people about cars and just going out there and enjoying, you know, no trolling on the Internet. And, you know, as Chris Mimico said, you know, Everyone's a troll on the internet, but when you get out there and uh, the community, everybody's just super cool, and it was a great time. Uh, thanks to all the vendors and Chris Mimicos for putting that event together. Look forward to going to more in the future. Uh, and, of course, if you just swing by for the first time, be sure to like. Check out some previous videos uh, on the SRT4 and the Hellcat I used to have. Hope you stick around. I'll see you in the next one, guys.